Mama Mia is at Wolverhampton's Grand Theatre through to the 24th of February. I have two of the stars of the show, Phil and Lucy. Hello. Hi. Now, I, I've not seen the show yet, so you've got to walk me through this one gently. Don't give too much away, <laughs> but we're in Greece at the moment. We are. We are, yeah. It's a sunny summer's day in Greece, and the show starts with Sophie... Um, sending the invitations to her three potential fathers. The invitations. No, so to that's sort of phrase you expect to use it's every not, day, no. is it? So this is part <laughs> of the intrigue of the story, isn't it? For those who yeah. don't know it, and it's part of the fun for those who uh-huh. do. And it's it's one of those shows where you, you're there for the story, but you're also there for the songs as well. Absolutely, so uh, yeah. three potential fathers coming to a wedding, Greek island. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> um, thankfully, all the things that do go wrong are, are very nicely segued with the fantastic music of ABBA so mm-hmm. it doesn't always seem that bad and um, that's why this piece works so well is the music and the book are they, they equally match each other mm-hmm. so not what like a, a jukebox musicals nowadays you're going to see one and it's either the music is great and the book's not as good where the, this works really well together and, and that's what stood the test of time. We're talking almost 20 years yeah. Uh, yeah. on the road, around and about, and audiences coming back time and time again yeah. for a, a massive show. But I say, the, the music of ABBA will make it it work so well. Yeah. But, I mean, these songs were released before you two guys were even born. Yeah, they were. Uh, and, and, and is it something that you've grown up uh, with listening to as well through family, you know, telling me you've got to listen to these tunes? Definitely, yeah. Your dad's a massive fan. Yeah, my fan. dad's a massive <laughs> ABBA fan. I think that's, as I always say, if I, could, if, if I could do one musical when I graduated college, if I could do one musical, I'd, I'd want it to be Mamma Mia because he mm-hmm. absolutely adores the music and he sits there and he has a great old time. Yeah. And it goes through the generations. It's not, this is what, with the show as well, it's not just, it doesn't hit just one generation, it's th- th- throughout all generations. Definitely. And that's what's great about this piece. And I think there's lots of people who come and see the musical. Of course, the musical was first, mm-hmm. but... I think a lot of people come and see the musical who have seen the film. Mm-hmm. And a, a lot of people don't realise that the musical did come first. The yeah. stage version did come first. And I really like that about this show more than any other show. I think it brings a lot of people to the theatre that maybe haven't b- even been to a theatre before. So I think it's like it's just so accessible across the board. There's so many things that make it accessible. And I, yeah, it's one of the things I really love about it, seeing the audiences that are all so different so so different yeah and and the the age range of the cast mirrors the age range of the audience as well because you've got a a good (laughs) spread here you're two of the youngest obviously you are the the young lovers in this uh, story (laughs) but uh when it comes down to it though you've got the 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 older performers all of whom get fantastic songs to sing as well yeah absolutely i think all of the characters are brilliant there's a whole range and i think again one of the things that audiences love about it is that there's, you can see yourself, you sit and watch it and you can kind of pick out, you go, oh, that's a little bit like me or oh, that's a little bit like Sandra. You know, mm-hmm. you can see people that you know and, yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think that's, again... It's funny, when they were writing this, they uh, got the name for Harry from Our Last Summer because the, 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 the name song, of Harry yeah. is in the lyrics. So yeah. they, they, they took that, that a direct... Pick, pick yeah. it up, used yeah. what was there and made it into the massive show. They've not it changed is. Yeah. much of the lyrics. They haven't, no, none. I think there's like a few tiny lyric changes, but nothing kind of major. Like you get in a lot of jukebox musicals, mm-hmm. there'll be kind of like massive changes to songs to make them fit. But with Mamma Mia, th- there isn't, which is again brilliant. So people can come and see it, and people who are maybe just fans of ABBA can come and can hear the songs that they know and they love that haven't been kind of changed or messed about with, which is, yeah. And right. we, we are very much sat in Greece at the moment. Yes. We, we have the, uh, the scenery <laughs> around us. Uh, but, I mean, that's the, the, the feel-good factor of the show. The, the, the cold February air is going to be replaced by the summer sunshine on a Greek island somewhere, uh, in- including what you guys will get to wear when you're doing this too. Yeah, so it must absolutely. be quite strange wearing swimwear at the, in this, this point in the, in the winter. Well, you have a wetsuit on all year round, I think all you? I wear is a wetsuit and swimsuit. <laughs> yeah. You get used and to it. And little trunks. Um, little trunks. But, and, of course, there's our fake tan as well. Yeah. We're always fake yeah, You look annoyingly healthy, and... And then this is all sprayed on, so all sprayed. it is, yeah. Is it? Yeah, a safe it way is. to Twice do it. Twice a week. Yeah, and that, that must is. be weird going for the for the, the weekly painting, as it were. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it I don't, I don't think nice. I know what my normal skin colour is now. No, I don't. Really <laughs> know. I know. So it's one step up from wearing grease paint the whole time, I suppose. Yeah, but uh, impresses people when you're down the pub and any days off. And you always look good in a photo. Always look good in a photo. 
Well, I'll carry on sitting here looking pasty. You can have a great time performing on stage. Wolverhampton's Grand Theatre right the way through till the 24th of February. 01902 429212 is the box office number for tickets or grandtheatre.co.uk to get them online. But do come along and see the magic of Mamma Mia on stage at Wolverhampton. Thank <laughs> Thanks for having us. Bye. Bye. <laughs>